Hello everyone and uh, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Mohammed. We continue with our uh, preparation for Elastic Certified Observability Engineer exam. And today we're gonna discuss the last point in uh, metrics topic, which is uh, how to use metrics app to enable and analyze the uh, predefined machine learning uh, jobs. With that being said, uh, let's uh, jump to our uh, lab environment. But before that, let's see the documentation. So uh, what the do documentation said about the detect uh, or detect metric anomalies, um, we can use um, this uh, machine learning job to, to pre or to detect any, um, uh, uh, any species used in the, um, uh, in the memory, as, is, as you can see here in the memory, in the network traffic, and the host and uh, for the host or Kubernetes or uh, Kubernetes, Kubernetes pods. So to go to the uh, our environment, uh, we go to observability as we did last time. We saw how to install the agent, how to do everything. So if you did not enable the environment, feel free to go back uh, and uh, watch the other or the previous videos to set up the environment or the lab environment, and uh, you can flow after that. After that. So we go to the uh, infrastructure uh, for the inventory. If you go here, you click on uh, anomaly detection, right? But as you can see here, it said uh, to access to anomaly de detection, uh, start free, free trail, which, which mean, as you probably know that Elastic have a different version. There is the open source and the free version, which um, did not include the anomaly detection. To be able to use the anomaly detection in, uh, in Kibana or Elastic in general, you have uh, to enable the, uh, the trail or to buy a license. So how we can do, even like we click from here, start trail directly, or you click here and you go to stack management and you scroll down all the way down here to stack and you see license management and you will get the same. So if you have a license, you will be able or you have to uh, upload, uh, update or upload the license here. Otherwise, you click on start uh, the trial and here it will give you a link for um, a documentation like what you will have in the uh, in this license. Uh, we just need to click on uh, start uh, trial and here we go. So our our um, our trial is uh, started now and uh, it will expire on 24th September. Let's go now back to observability. We go to observability, we click to uh, on inventory and now we click on the anomaly detection and here we have the uh, the anomaly detections or we have the job here and here we have uh, if we have any anomalies we can see directly here. For the job we have two uh, type of uh, anomaly uh, uh, metrics. Uh, we have the, for the host and we have for the uh, Kubernetes pods. For us, for our environment, uh, we have host. So we click on uh, enable uh, the host. So when does the model begin? Uh, I will say like, let me see. I will, yeah, let's say this is 28 uh, July. Uh, how do you want to uh, partition like I will do I will leave it empty for everything and do if like if you want to enable on something uh, like to to choose a specific field or to to choose let's say a host name not all the hosts but in our case we don't need it but during uh, the exam or uh, in your environment or in your uh, production environment for sure you will have a long list of hosts and also kubernetes pods so you choose whatever like if you want to apply all the um, uh, or if you want to apply this uh, machine learning job on all the data that you have and the metrics that you have, then you don't need to filter. But if you have uh, a specific list of uh, Kubernetes pods or hosts, then you can filter, right? So I will click on enable jobs and we give it a few uh, minutes or a few seconds to uh, create the uh, machine learning job. And after that, we uh, will see the result. Here we go. Now uh, the anomaly it's uh, uh, it's enabled or it's enabled. So if you click here on uh, manage the um, uh, the jobs, it will redirect you here to machine learning jobs or machine learning anomaly uh, anomaly detection. And here you have the jobs. So here since we enabled the um, uh, the metric, so you see here Kibana metric. Um, this is uh, host memory usage. This is network. And this is also uh, a network. 
right um, like now if you click or if you open you will get a no, uh, details about um, the uh, the money the machine learning job so this is the settings this is the configuration this is the account json file and so on and so forth uh, probably you don't need it during the uh, during the exam this is the settings but you need it for like let's say in your uh, production or lab environment if you want to modify something or if you, if you want to learn how it works exactly so you you need this one for our uh, preparation we need like to go here for example let's let me go back so you have to like even like you click on this uh, icon or this one it will redirect you to the um, 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 to the to the result of our anomaly. So you click on the first log. Here you will have a visualization on the uh, on the um, uh, on the anomaly job that you uh, that you have. Uh, just a second. I'll open this one. Perfect. So you know my uh, my uh, environment is empty. I just enabled the uh, just enabled the. Um, uh, the uh, the uh, the job or the machine learning job um, there is no anomalies here um, but during the exam you will have another environment and that's uh, for sure contain uh, some anomalies so here uh, based on the scenario you have to filter so if it's last if they said like for the last seven days or for the last 24 hour you choose the right and and from here also you can uh, you can uh, choose the time of range like to to focus or to zoom in to see exactly what happened and here you will have uh, you will have the um, the details right let's go back to the anomaly uh, if we open here for example the network and we open the um, the anomaly explorer from here so we don't have any uh, anomalies otherwise it will it will show here i will jump quickly to the uh, or before that let's see the last one so it's the same so here you have the settings you have everything and here if you click it will redirect you to the um, um, uh, to the anomaly explorer like if you have any anomalies it will show here with a score and the uh, the top influencer from here I will I will go back again to observability and uh, here the inventory so if you want to go back to the um, uh, to the to the machine learning jobs, so you click here on the anomalies, and if you want to recreate or click directly here the anomalies, it will show you if we have something, and here it will uh, or if you click uh, on manage, it will redirect you to this uh, to this page. This page you find it here. So if you click and you go to the machine learning jobs, so here you have uh, you have the uh, the machine learning job so here if you click you will have all the three uh, uh, anomalies detections uh, or machine learning jobs for the metrics uh, from here right uh, I will go quickly here there is a, another environment here that I can uh, go so I go to uh, this one and if we go to the inventory so if I go to the uh, I will go so here you see a list of uh, of hosts so I will go to the uh, normally machine learning jobs and we'll go to the jobs here I will see if we have something here for the metrics perfect so we have we have this for example so if I go here uh, here I will choose the services right I will just uh, choose a service and here you have uh, you have the output so here uh, you can uh, as I mentioned previously so here you see the uh, the time range so you filter your time range the right one and here you will see the uh, uh, the results of uh, uh, your anomalies so if you click here you see this anomaly this is uh, the high uh, this is the one that have that have uh, a high severity so in your exam like they were they were asked let's say give us the uh, um, like the high severity uh, anomaly that you can see uh, in our environment for the last 24 hours for this host or for this service so you come here and you find this is the value and um, if they ask for the de for the detector or if they ask for the uh, host name or like you can pick it from here and copy paste it in the uh, in the uh, uh, in the results 
and this this will uh, show you the anomalies so one second exactly so here like we saw like from here you see the uh, the graph and here you see the table of the anomalies so here you can filter the anomalies if you want to see just the uh, the one that have really high high severity so you can just uh, drag and drop or uh, push the control here to the severity that you want and here you will have the uh, the influencer and here you have the score so if they ask like for the top influencer with the, that, that have the highest score so you can copy this service this is the result and this is the uh, the uh, the percentage and this is the score so you can copy paste so if you can just this is the uh, uh, anomaly score and this is the maximum anom anomaly score the 80 percent uh, uh, 89 percent if you want more details you have here so you can click and you copy here the same you can choose or you can filter like i would just want to see the criticals or the critical severity so here it will show just the critical even if you go to the uh, second page you will have just the uh, critical um, uh, service right uh, with that being said i uh, hope you learned something new if you have any issue or if you have any uh, question feel free to drop it in the uh, comment section and we'll see you in the next video